What's going on, guys? Raven here, and I'm back again uh, after disbanding our entire army uh, accidentally. It even gives you a little warning to not do that, but uh, I ignored it, so I'm sorry. But I'm back. Okay, we're back. Everything's fine. Well, sort of. We missed uh, two months because of that little mishap. But uh, we're back. We're back. Don't worry about it. Save scumming to the max. Maybe I should have just uh, kept that in so that we could simulate, I don't know, the entire army just being disbanded randomly because the leader of Two Sicilies decided that he wasn't going to read that day. All right, political awareness. I remember getting that. Um, we're going to want to get rid of uh, an infantry and two infantry units. On, uh, or well, one on each army because we want to have one infantry unit or uh, engineer unit in uh, our armies. Engineers help with forts, which uh, basically all of Europe is going to going to have a fort, pretty much. The AI loves forts. We are at nine infamy, which means we could click a button to justify a war versus Aro. So let's do that. Establish Protectorate. And watches get caught immediately. Like I said, would happen. If we had done it uh, at um, at 10.5 infamy or whatever. Oh, there goes uh, Hungary and there goes the Papal State. We just can't influence them at all, apparently. France just hates us. Well, no, they just discredited us, so we sort of have a chance, except not really. Um, I guess the odds are just weighed against us in this situation. I guess we, we can increase relations with them. Uh, we can build another factory or just expand this one. Yeah, get some more uh, investment in that uh, area. Tuscany, same thing. Sardinia, Piedmont, same thing. Parma, same thing. And uh, Modena, not the same thing, unfortunately. Sorry if you're from Modena. 11.5 infamy, not that much. Not too bad there. Let's um, bring the army over to this side of our colonies. And look at this color. I mean, the purple color is just so nice. I love it. Too bad we don't keep that color when we form Italy. When? Huh. If, I suppose, with the way things are going right now. Causes belly acquisition speed goes down a little bit. Okay, so... Man, this... These factories are getting filled up quick. We might even want to expand the furniture factory. Mm, maybe not. We don't need that much furniture. Right now, at least. So somebody just banned us from somewhere else. Or discredited, I don't know. Either or, really. Austria is going to worry about Tuscany like they always do. And we're just going to be waiting around a little bit for things to happen. We can have more brigades at this point. Might want to get some more infantry. Probably artillery, though, because if we do mobilize and we fight a war that we need to mobilize in, uh, we need artillery to back up the mobilized troops. We are ranked 6th in uh, industry. I know I said that before, but that's pretty good considering we started at 0. Literacy rate is slowly going up. Oh, we can build Hussars now. That's awesome. Let's get rid of this cavalry unit. And this Cuirassier. I don't know how we have a Cuirassier when we're not even allowed to build them. Because we don't have the technology. 
Hostess belly acquisition speed goes down again. Uh, what are we? How many people are we losing? 370. Ooh, that's so many people. We might just want to get some voting reforms, I guess, because people really are very angry. Cecilia nationalists are pretty angry. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll go for, for voting next time it comes up, which is actually now. Uh, we were thrown out of the Papal State. Again. We just need, there are no wars going on. I don't really know what's going on there. Oh, I say that. France and, uh, Prussia are at war now. So if we went to here, somebody discredits us immediately. We're now a semi-constitutional monarchy. But, um... Spain, why do you keep discrediting us? Does it really matter? Uh, we're gonna follow the elections this time. And, uh, we're gonna go for... I wanna go for inorganic chemistry for that population growth. I really, really, really do. But I think rushing functionalism into bio biologism would actually be a better idea. Also, I think this is the Franco-Prussian War, so we actually get to sort of see what's going on. We're not really allied with anybody here, but uh, Prussia's probably going to to beat up France. Let's go for jingoism, why not? Prussia's probably going to... France? I mean uh, Russia. But uh, on the French side, they should lose, honestly. Oh, we can uh, go to war with Aro. So this should be a pretty quick war. Shouldn't really have any trouble here. Defense of three. Probably want a defense of, or an attack of one rather than that. And just take out their army wherever it goes. Uh, I think we want protectionism. At least the route we're going. Hassar, you can go to that army. And, uh, we're not getting any artillery, apparently. Let's do harass parties, I guess. And, uh, excuse me. Um, Prussia's gonna, yeah, they're gonna beat up Russia, but France should, uh, win the war for them. Who was that? People state, Empire Brazil. Oh, we can add them to our sphere. That's nice. So we're going to get uh, wood, I believe. Timber. They might have some forests. But uh, mostly it's the tropical wood that's really good for us. So hopefully we can keep that. And um, there are rebels. Oh, these re reactionaries are apparently going to take over. Still haven't taken this province yet. And... Um, United Kingdom is still trying to take um, Brazil for some reason. So, Pope, France is uh, working its little claws into the Pope area, which should be our area. We can build Dragoons now, that doesn't really matter, I'm not going to build Dragoons. And let's improve relations with Sardinia and the Pope. And try to finagle our way into the papacy. Which probably won't happen. Protectionism. So, Danny Piedmont, we are still going around in a little bit. What happened here? Did we get discredited by someone? I thought we were already at neutral. Huh. Should have gotten more than that. Let's go for Litizen Citizenship. Limited Citizenship. And uh, I guess watch Prussia lose, pretty much. They should be losing their troops. No, they actually still have 105 brigades. France has 153. And Russia has 47. But they should be pretty split up now. And since France has so many troops, I mean, yeah, they're just going to take over everything. 
Hanover goes bankrupt. We just saw them get taken over and then immediately pieced out. Oh, we got to expand this factory. Forgot to do that again. I guess we'll expand the furniture factory as well, even though it's not making that much money. And we're probably... No, the fertilizer factory is the one we're paying subsidies on. Fertilizer is just not profitable, I guess. So... Oh, Prussia. I didn't even see what happened, but it looks like they separate pieced... No, they didn't separate piece Russia. I'm guessing a, a white piece happened. Oh, should we help the Poles? We will support Russia. Why not? Sorry, Poles. It's, our, it's in our own best interests. Oh, anarcho-liberals are a thing now, so that's not good. I don't like anarcho-liberals. So we're going to get Piedmont, improve our opinion, their opinion of us. And we are losing money. Are we? Is it because we're building troops? I think so. What's the deal here? Oh, wait. I know the deal. Totally forgot about this thing over here. This little fling that we had going on. All right, we're going to have to focus more on that. <laughs> um, Prussia, through relations. So we need a Piedmont, through relations a little bit. Tuscany, yeah. Parma, yeah. Let's get a little relations here and there. We're banned in Parma. And uh, maybe it's just impossible to get any of these people in our sphere. Maybe. Can we... How does this work? No. Yeah, they're in the sphere, so we can't expel advisors. All right, so we took uh, their capital. Took them out there. Papal State, we were thrown out. Discredited, I'm guessing. Again. Tuscany, we're not going to get. Brazil. Yeah, the English are scaring me a little bit. Looks like we just got thrown out of a lot of other countries as well. So it's just the Pope and Brazil that we're working on. So we're about to take over this land. That's going to give us some more fish, grain, cattle. Not really anything important. There's going to be a lot of that in the world. But uh, we'll get a lot of people, so that's good. Annex them. And we can build another naval base now, so we will. And um, they still want reforms. That's a shame. I don't really like reforms. You are 17% of the upper houses willing to vote for that. Let's go to de debtor's prison. Or let's get rid of peonage, I guess. Rebellion and our ally. Uh, they're not worth it, I guess. I guess we have to try and get... Oh, what? You kept your relations with the... British. That's some... That's kind of dumb. Whatever. But now Brazil is an absolute monarchy, so... Sorry, Brazil. Bit of a shame. Let's build a Hussar, a Hussar, whatever, and uh, Africa and a few other needed people. And France is Jacobin rebels, which might actually allow us to get Sardinia and the Papal State from them, but we just got banned from the Papal State. But basically all of France's stuff, if they, I mean, they're going to succumb to this rebellion, I think. They must. They have to. 
They're losing a lot of people. And when they do, I think they lose all their spheres. Maybe. I'm not sure. This is our big break, I guess. Are we... Have we been taking loans? No. War exhaustion? No. What's the deal? Why are we losing money? Our money is fluctuating rapidly. How are they not... I guess you need to take the capital. I think after a year of owning the capital, the rebels will enforce their demands. But uh, I don't, I'm not really sure what they're doing right now. Why they aren't, like, taking the capital. Or any province, it seems. How many brigades do you have? France. 76. What are they doing? I'm confused. Oh, another thing. I noticed, and I should have done this much earlier, but effects vol volume. Well, let's get that down. More. Apparently it doesn't want to go down that much at all. Hopefully that's a bit quieter. Um, Alright, we need to get biologism so that we can get Darwinism, so that we can get uh, really good education efficiency. So they lost to the rebellion, but they did not lose their spheres. Which is actually very unfortunate for us. Super, super unfortunate. Okay, so... You need a Hussar, as well as Engineers, since we can now build Engineers. Forgot about that. We're going to have to get rid of, um, of one Infantry in each of these armies. And we're also going to move this guy right over here. And wait a day, apparently. As the game has to recalculate. And two engineers. There we go. So we're full. Oh man, there's so many craftsmen in uh, Campania. There's a million people in Campania now. Brazil, you want to be in our sphere again. I know you do. I know you do. Trust me. Aro nationalists are angry. Get these guys over here. And yeah, we're at 4% of our intellectuals in Campania. Bureaucrat wise, we're good. Social or soldiers wise, we are not good. Let's get to 5% soldiers. We need to start being a little bit more aggressive with our tactics of trying to get these guys in our sphere because Austria and France just really do not want that to happen. Unfortunately. What is this Austrian war over? Where is this? Swedish liberation of Russian Turku. So Austria is helping Sweden take a finished land, I think. Oh, no, 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 it has to be this, right? Yeah. The Åland Islands. I don't know what that little symbol over the A means. So, in terms of Austria, they have 73 brigades right, right now, <laughs> right now, uh, with 6 out of 30 military tech. They, oh, they're strong now. I haven't seen Austria do that many times. North Germany has formed. That's not good. Alright, this engineer is finished. Let's send him to this army right here. Uh, let's not get too many of those. That militancy modifier, of course. That would be bad. And... There's like nothing else to get. I don't want you guys to have voting rights, but I suppose we'll give you some. Okay, Brazil, you want... Uh, well, you don't really want anything. We want you to be in our sphere. So combine that army. That army's combined. And let's put this guy right here. 
Make an engineer, make a hussar, make an artillery, make an infantry. We're almost at 4%, and since we're so close, I'm just going to encourage soldiers in this province. We're losing money right now. We can lose more money. No, we'll just take the free influence and relation, I guess. It was an intense voice crack there. Uh, but yeah, we'll just take those those free relations and influence. Don't really want to spend money when we, for some reason, are making so little. France banned us from the Pope again. That's unfortunate. And... Nothing's really going... Oh! Heavenly Kingdom revolted, but uh, normally the King Empire wins. That's normally what I see. 100% war exhaustion for the Heavenly Kingdom. And 49% for the King Empire. I think the King Empire is going to win, even though they have less brigades. Well, I thought they did, but apparently not. They have one less brigade. Heavenly Kingdom has 0 to 30 attack. But they have plus 20% something. I don't know what that means, what that plus 20% modifier means. And the King Empire has actually one military tech, so they're probably going to win. Alright, we're still building up this army. And now we're making a little bit of money, that's good. We need to expand this luxury furniture factory again. Because inevitably it's not going to get everything it needs. Not sure... Oh, now it's getting everything it needs. Okay, there we go. Why is it not producing the max amount? Oh, it's not getting cement or machine parts. It's not getting enough of those. So we just got discredited in the Papal State again, I think. We're about to sphere Brazil again. And nobody wants to ally us. Spain's allied with Russia. Austria doesn't want to ally us because too many alliances. That's odd. I don't like that, that modifier very much. Too many alliances. Doesn't really make much sense to me. But there could be a reason for it. Biafra. I guess we'll lose militancy again. That's the state down here. Not a state, but, you know. Well, it is a state. It's just not a state state. Industrialized state. Do we have any... I don't even think we have any Italians down here. All these cultures are at 100%, so nobody is migrating down to the African provinces. Alright, so... Soldier-wise, we need three more infantry in that army, and then that army is 30 man strong. Biologism is almost done. Well, next year it'll be done, so not really. Sardinia Piedmont. We haven't gotten any of these guys in our sphere. And Lucha is dead. I didn't even notice that, but I guess Modena gets an event to annex Lucha. We just got banned from the Pope. And we can add Brazil to our sphere again and get some nice tropical wood and maybe some grain here and there. All right, let's go to one priority with Brazil and um, try and get Prussia, Prussia, Persia into our sphere as well. Plurality. War exhaustion, or that wasn't war exhaustion, I don't know what that was. Intellectual wise, these guys are good. That Sicilian Revolution event has not happened either. So I, I don't even know if it ever will now, so I think we're okay to encourage soldiers here. Hopefully we are. Alright, so this army is now completed and let's get started on the next one which will start with artillery 
for a stop. Um, to support this army and then the potential of mobilized brigades, we're definitely going to need some industrial techs. Because, as you can already tell, we're pretty tight on money right now. We have spent a lot of it in other nations, but it's sort of necessary. Furniture-wise, we... Now let's in, uh, expand this factory in Puglia. Okay, rebels in Austria. Tuscany. They're going to ban us. Yep, there they go. So they need a Piedmont. We're not even at friendly yet. If we look at a sphere of influence map mode, though, look at that purple Brazil. That's so beautiful. And there's nothing purple over here, unfortunately. I mean, we might just want to justify a war versus Austria. Maybe save up some infamy limit and, uh, you know, try and beat them in a war. But they are allied to a good amount of people. Looks like Germany is going to form. They just need Alsace-Lorraine. They have Bavaria in their spheres, so Austria lost the, uh, all their spheres down here. Yeah, we really need... Austria to lose these spheres. I don't know what the deal is. And France. I don't know why they care so much about these states. I feel like we should just be able to get more influence because of the fact that we are literally Italian. You know, that would make a bit of sense. We got biologism. And now I think we're gonna go for piston steam engine because it's such a such an important tech. I mean, 20% for mining and farming output, and we can we can't even make fabric factories. I didn't even realize that. So, well, textile mills. But uh, I do sort of want to get fabric and cotton, or uh, fabric and clothes because we're gonna have cotton from Persia. At least I hope. The UK normally spears them. We'll have to see if they do the same thing here. I'm going to follow the elections again, try to get a, an early growing for, I don't know, communism, I guess. Pluralism, uh... No? I don't think so. I don't think we want that. So, important issues, jingoism, people are very interested in war. Pacifism is pretty low. Anti-military, pretty low compared to pro-military and jingoism. Let's get uh, planned economy. Planned economy is... I don't even think it's on here. Oh no, it's at 9.1%. Uh, Table state, we've been banned again. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's a better strategy here. Because we have not gotten any of these countries in our sphere. Sort of strange. I remember in another campaign I did of this, uh, being able to get the papacy and, and all the other states into our sphere eventually. But uh, Austria just does not want to give. Moralism, we want atheism. I guess we are going for uh, communism. That, uh, this factory is not very profitable. We might want to make a, a sawmill, maybe. All right, now we have more mining and farming output. Let's also go for railroads, I think. Moralism, no, we don't want moralism. I think we can build railroads in a lot of provinces that we have. Oh, and these, uh tropical wood provinces that'll make us make more money I think from that tech we are making like 80 more dollars each day so that's awesome but we're gonna need a lot more than that trust me a lot lot more oh we can get some free life rating in Sicilian Bafra cool 
So people are more likely to emigrate over here. And look, they are. There's actually South Italians. No, just kidding. I thought there were South Italians, but there's not. It's uh, E-B-B-O. E and then Ebo is the big culture, apparently. Huh. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying that, uh, this episode, this series. And uh, hopefully you'll subscribe, you like the video, whatever. Do what you do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.